Right, hi guys. So, the new Adobe RAW update, 13.2. I don't know if it actually deals with the Sony A1 yet. I'd imagine it possibly does, but they've added a few new things here. So, super resolution is the most important one I'm actually going to be talking about right now. The other stuff there, not really looked at. Obviously, the Apple Pro RAW profile, not looked at that. Um, filter and sort the film strip using capture date, film, blah, 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 uh, is obviously useful. But it's the doubles the image resolution. So this is a bit like the Sony clear image zoom, but better. So we're going to do it now. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do. Uh, this just gives you a little bit of insight into it. So super resolution helps create an enhanced image with two times the width and two times the height of the original image or four times the total pixel count. Uh, most file types such as JPEGs, TIFFs are supported. You can especially use super resolution uh, when you have to make large prints or increase the resolution of the cropped image. So really, really handy to do. Um, you literally just click enhance and just follow the instructions. But we're going to do it now. So I'm just going to open bridge and grab on a previous video. You can actually see me using clear image zoom. And what we're going to do is I'll show you the difference. I can actually find the pictures. You can use the same ones just so you get a real. Here we go. Right. So this was a JPEG. This is using clear image zoom as the JPEG. So we'll bring it in. Uh, just so to give us like a ballpark figure. So you can kind of see that's the full image. If we zoom in, it looks a bit digitally end of the day. So we are going to now bring in the. raw so this is short in raw so this is a 20 megapixel straight out of camera raw uh basically as was um, the only thing i might do is just tweak a little bit of noise reduction other than that i'm going to leave it as is just with the rx10 for a little bit of noise reduction can help a little bit um what we do is we go over to the image which is on the down here on the right hand side yours might be up here somewhere depending on how you've got it set up i use it down the bottom you right click on there and you'll see the word enhance so we just click on that and it opens up and basically gives you click and hold the preview so basically we can zoom out and we can zoom in enhance you can't really get a comparison because we're not zoomed in um, but basically just click Make sure super resolution is clicked and it's going to take eight seconds to do it enhance and you've got a little timer down here on the right hand side or left hand side sorry but it's just tweaking away there you go and that is the original that is the enhanced so i'm going to highlight both of them and we're going to open both i haven't touched anything other than a little bit of noise reduction just just as a general rule Especially from the RX10 Mark IV. And we see the difference. So that's the enhanced version. This is the normal. General on the screen doesn't look any different. But when you actually look at the image size. So image size here is the original. 5463 by 3642. And then you've got the enhanced version. Which is suddenly now 10,926 and 7284. And then we've got this one, which is the clear image zoom version, which is the five, four, seven, two, three. So this is the this is the clear image zoom one. And what we're going to do is actually going to view it at one. That's a hundred percent. So I'm going to go a hundred percent on this one, which is the non uh, enhanced version. And that's as close as we've got. But as you can see, lovely and sharp. And then we go to the super resolution version, up to a hundred percent. And let's move around. There we go. And then we have obviously that one there, which is that's the difference between the enhanced version and not. We're looking at 100%. And so I'm going to shut that one down. And we're going to look at this is the clear image zoom version. There's quite a bit of a difference there. Well worth it, I believe. So if you do use 
clear image zoom maybe it's time to look at this because that is a huge amount of difference doesn't look too bad i always thought when you looked at the shots it always looked a little bit digitally it, it well i mean it worked quite well i'm not going to say it didn't but when you start comparing it to something else you know it's very very different also i prefer the colors the colors on raw 16-bit image compared to an 8-bit jpeg so huge huge difference i believe um and even if we go to 200 percent, it's probably the real the real worker so let's go up to the the head of the the gull and its wing there and we go to 200 percent on this one as well and then you can really see the difference noise reduction didn't do a huge great deal i don't think but you can actually see the smaller pixels suddenly bigger here so yeah absolutely whatever adobe are now doing with this is a win-win situation i think you can see the detail in there even even if i open this up and uh, went into camera raw and applied a little bit of noise reduction just to make the difference say 20 percent and let watch it happen it softened it a little bit but there's still more detail just looking at the wing if anything it's definitely something and it's quick and easy and you end up with two images so you end up with a an unenhanced version and a normal so you've got sort of the croppability if you want to use it so simple as really um anyway guys hope that helps it's a nice new addition to the adobe software there in raw so yeah absolutely so yeah what a difference um when you start looking at it as you know as a bigger crop situation it's it's a really really handy bit of uh kit and i'm actually going to start i might have a little play later with the uh a7r4 as well see how that that reacts to it because that could be interesting anyway guys they were they were shot on the rx10 mark 4 so 20 megapixels so it should be interesting if you've got more megapixels it may actually either have a negative effect or a positive effect we shall see but that's the first look at it anyway. So anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. I'll see you soon.